In this video, I want to talk about why everyone's using AI to write code these days. And in particular, I'm going to dive in into Cursor AI Code Editor. The first reason I chose Cursor AI is that I can just import all my VS Code settings, my extensions, my theme, everything that I've spent years perfecting. And since it's built on VS Code, everything looks exactly the same. I didn't have to think about anything. Everything just felt like home. Second thing is that AI is reading my thoughts and it is making me much faster. So here in our project component, for example, where we have this projects object, and if we just start typing in projects.map, we are getting full code from AI. And this is not something that is hard to write yourself. This is a simple array function map where we are going through our projects object and just putting in the project name and paragraph as a description. So it's something that everyone knows, but it is time consuming to write this every time you are mapping through something. Or if you are just creating some UI or something like an image here or whatever we can create, everything is much faster when AI is just giving it to you, then you have to write it yourself from scratch all over again. Third thing is the code awareness of cursor AI. I can just highlight these four lines here, type in command L to open the chat window, and I can ask why is this drizzle adapter used here? And now cursor is answering our question and he knows everything, what is happening actually under the hood. So if you are new to this project, if you are just placed on some legacy code, you can ask him whatever you want and he's going to find throughout the code base what is actually happening. So when I pressed enter here, the AI was looking through auth.ts and in particular on these lines from 11 to 14 and from his best practices and experience from before, from all the drizzle adapter integrations, he know exactly what's happening so he could answer us that question. And the other thing it can do with chat is that we can highlight this button, for example, go command L again, and we can ask where is this button used throughout the code. And now I'm going to press command and then enter. It would be control enter on Windows or Linux. And what is it doing now is here it's looking through the whole code base in our project. And it's helping us to find where are all the imports for the button. So here we can see button usage locations. So in UI components, in feature components, in app pages, there are a bunch of places where we are using the button. And this is also really useful when you don't know where are your components used or your methods, functions, etc. This is much better for understanding your project and again, moving faster because you're not doing all these things manually. Fourth thing is something that I'm using probably too much and that's error handling. So here, for example, instead of this string, if I put in an integer, we are going to get the type error and first feature for error handling we can see is that it is automatically just fixing when I press tab. Then second thing is, for example, here, if I delete this provider and schema and we see that we have some kind of error here, we can press quick fix and we can fix it with AI. So now AI is searching for some fix and we can see that again, it is not fixed, but he already found that we need to put something else and we can just accept that fix and try it out like that. The third and best way to handle errors is here. I'm going to delete these headers from our session and we can see that we have some type of error. So now here I'm going to press fix in chat and we are going to get exactly what's the problem, what's the issue and how to fix it. So we can see that it's saying, I see issue, the get session method requires a headers parameter. So he's totally explaining this one to us. And here we have a code, what needs to be added. So he already fixed it. And we can just click here on apply. And here we can see the changes. So this is something like solving a git conflict. We see what was here before and what is going to be added and we can just click accept. 
So now we accept it, we see that we have some other error and we can just fix that one in chat again. So this is that famous meme where we are saying like, please, 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 till the AI solves everything for us. And the fifth thing is editing directly inside of our code. So here we have this badly written if statements and we can go and click edit and we can just say, write this better and submit our edit. So now he should, yes, so now he created a switch where we have case red, case green, case yellow, etc., which is basically much better than having just three if conditions. In my opinion, I think that AI should be used to create code because it makes us much faster. It's not only about writing the code, it's also about understanding the code, and I think that AI is also helping in that part of development. So I encourage you to try it out. You have free trials for each one of them, for Cursor, for Windsurf, for Copilot. So just try them out and tell me what you think.